Hello ladies and gents, welcome on back to Spaceborn 2. In this episode, we are going to do all kinds of cool stuff. And we're going to take care of that Molax mission because it's going to set us up to getting our beginnings of our fleet and building a real team. Plus, if you stick around, somewhere smashed in there is going to be the Faction Hangar. Yeah, I'm going to show you how to use it, what it does, how to raise the level of your ship, and waste way too much money way too easily. All righty, folks, we're all set up here. We're going to go do the Milax mission real quick. Uh, it's so close. We're just going to jump right over there. Then I got a little surprise for you. We're going to do some Faction Hangar business. The second series of upgrades that will go into your ship. Besides just buying components. But let's get this one done real quick. This is really easy to do. Whoa, there we go. Used to have to get out of our ship and go do that, but. Oh, look who has graced my humble ship. Hello, Marax. It is good to see an old face. Likewise, my old friend. It must be our commander's son. Okay. Drain, really. I like the updated version. You look like you have a soul. Morax, you have new scars. You look like you have balls. Huh. Yes, Inca mentioned. You want to re-establish the WRA, and you have decided to recruit the remnants of the old team first. Me worthy. First, let's see if you are worthy of being a leader first. After all, these things do not happen with the monarchy. Oh, there's a foreign general. Yeah, the, the, I think he's one of the big bads we'll fight eventually, but not you yet. Should know not for a long time. This problem is not only with me, all but Earthlings, with all yeah. Earthlings. You cannot organize as long as he is alive. He committed a massacre at the Worldly Craftsmen Association lately. If he hears the WRA is reorganizing, he won't leave you alone. Actually, I'm doing you a favor right now. Oh, really? What a good person you are. Don't worry. He's coming here. He thinks he'll catch us off guard, but we're one step ahead of him. For now, we will wait for him to come here, and the moment he gets here, we'll lure him into a trap, and you will help us to destroy him. You know, prey becomes predator, and now... What the fuck is that? Oh, must be your prey. So, yeah, we out. Our ambush ships are destroyed. What are we going to do? Don't work. Just wait for my signal. All right. To Only point to do ship. this. Oh, yeah. Is to warp Let's away. Let's see how are you going to help us with that fight. Just walk. Sorry, but Moliax is right. We can't fight with them. What are we going to do? We'll be fine. Stay focused. I'm coming with a rescue ship in a few minutes. No, he's not. By <clears throat> the way, let me introduce you to this brave general, Moliax. Oh, I wish we had this little get-together sooner. I can't get enough of being lectured on my humanity by an android program to pretend to give a shit. We could at least warn your men, so they have a chance to escape. You never understood human nature. That's why your commander is dead. If I had told my men they were going to die, they would have smashed us to pieces there.
So now it's going to tell us, yeah, basically all we need to do is start heading back to Etox. If I remember correctly, question is, for, yeah, there it is. There we go. Please approach to the jump okay. point instead of jump process. Please proceed through the gate in the path reserved for you. You reached the way hey, of your route. We are ready. Please wait to come ship to the planet attack system. <laughs> See? Exit permission from the system has been obtained. The next waypoint is being passed. N3, 2, 1. Destination reached. Okay. And now, so line and stations where we have been going, but we want to go down here to the planet Breon. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. And once you hit the planet, you can see warp drive. You have to let it cool down. Then you can hit your B button. Warp drive on and we can go to the meeting point. This will be our new base for a little bit until we uh, start really stepping things up, get our own system, get our own station. Waiting for the thruster input. Booyah. There we go. And then from there, where it drop, you just want to go right down here. Landing gear deployed. Hello to everyone. For those who don't know me, my name is Cole. I am a technician. I set up the system I mentioned before. I also designed a communication interface where we can communicate with Earthlings. Now let me give a brief presentation of the system. Shut up, kid. Grown ups are talking. Yeah, talk to me after the meeting. God, he's an asshole. Okay, sorry. First of all, we must determine a path for our organization. There are a few things I want to say about this. First of all, we should not be subordinate to a single leader. We should have an internal council where everyone has an equal say. Then we must change our policies towards non-Earthlings. During my stay here, I saw that. There is no race in the galaxy that is hostile to us. Only some leaders have spent us, to get stronger. Therefore, no race should be our enemy. We must be merciful to all races, to civilians, even to armies that see us as enemies. We must protect everyone who is with us or not. If we go down this road, we will gain the support of the entire galaxy, and the leaders who betrayed us have no choice but to listen to us. I believe we should learn from our mistakes and follow your father's footsteps. We must have a strong leader and a strong management team to be chosen by our leader. If we give every member of the organization a voice, 
we cannot advance even one step. I also disagree with Drain on our policy towards non-humans. After all, not every living thing on this planet is an angel. We must protect those who deserve it and punish those who do not. If we do not show mercy to those who see us as enemies, you will see that they will be afraid to fight us. And a feared enemy is always a simple prey. Drain is just bullshit, and we had tried Anchor's way before. As a result, we are meeting in the cave of a desolate planet. Yes, we need a leader, but our leader must be someone our followers will respect and fear. And every non-human creature in this galaxy is a monster. I've experienced this many times, and these creatures eat any living thing they are not afraid of. Therefore, we must first spread the fear they deserve throughout the galaxy. We must make this galaxy uninhabitable for them. As long as we exist, everyone in the galaxy should sleep with one eye open. That's when those flamboyant leaders have to do whatever we want them to do. It's the only way to survive and bring this galaxy to its knee. So, the last word is yours. Which way do you think we should go? Uh, you know, it doesn't matter because I'm going to show you guys how to I do this. It. You can fine tune you are the leader we have it. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going out to... I think you're making a mistake. By the way, you should know that you can always change the main path of the yep. organization. But when you do this, you'll lose many of the followers. That's why we're going to change it as so soon far. as this so ends. if you want to change your path, you better do it before our organization. We need money and a safe base. Therefore, we must find ourselves a weak Star Lord and take their land from them. But to achieve this, we first need ships, soldiers, and pilots. We must find the Earthlings and expand our organization. Thus, we're getting introduced Before, to the mail system. Our first goal should be to create five units. For this, we need 25 pilots or soldiers. Go design the communication interface for this. I am calling out on the radio to the Earthlings to reach us. I'm sure we'll soon be able to reach out to Earthlings asking for our help. Any question? Nope. By the way, I made a communication interface where you can easily connect with the Earthlings. Please take a look. Gold, I think you should show us how to use new interfaces. Sure thing. Our new mail service is ready. You can view mails via the main interface or by clicking the mail icon in the upper right. Oh, your Our mail. Our first mail has already landed in the inbox. To accept the tasks that come with the emails, you need to reply to them. Now reply to this mail and accept that mission. So, normally what I'm going to tell you makes all the difference, but for this first mission, because these guys kind of just get thrown away. Um, for pilots, it's got a, do, uh, a pilot's head here. And then it's got soldiers, and soldiers are for this. And then we can train them up different ways. But when using pilots for pilot things, they train faster. Soldiers for soldier things, they train faster. So they can still train, but they train slower. So I'll deal with it. Okay. And then we go over here to our faction. Constitution, because that's what we were just talking about and going over. Which is the stuff down here. So, what I like to do... Start early. Crank those taxes. Give your pilots, like... 1%. And... Big loot cut. What that do... Will, that will do... Will, it will start... Filling this up. Now, to get these to actually mean something... You have to hit the signature. But let's finish everything. So never harm civilians. Never shoot first. Um. Mm. Yeah, we'll get basic things. Always save your ship first, and then I'll ask us to add to it a little bit later. But we'll start with that. 
Right now we're just sitting on justice, I guess. And then we gotta go do this mission, but before we go do this mission, we are gonna go and upgrade our ship substantially. So let's get back. Might as well just get into outer space, I suppose. Landing gear retracted. Alrighty. All right, now that we made it out here into space, what we're gonna do is every one of these systems, whoops, all right, so you see all of these, right? They all will have a bright center point right there, and that is where your faction headquarters is gonna be. So we're gonna go there, give me a second. Let's see if we can do something about gearing up this ship a little better. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. Alright, so this is the faction hangar. You can always see it, right? It'll say faction hangar. So you know where you're going. And this is kind of a uh, end all be all of all the stuff you can do upgrading wise. All kinds of stuff. Some of them will have landing gear deployed. Um ships you can buy, mining ships, all just depends. But I still got a guy to turn in. All of them do have the things to turn the uh, criminals in that you catch. Twelve grand. Oh well. See, we can get into our ship there, but I don't see. Yeah, that one doesn't have a ship selling things so depending on whether you're going to stay in that ship or not stay in that ship you come over here now some of the other ships that you can buy you can go in and change the color schemes around ah, this one doesn't have any then we come to ship modification. This is the second way that you buff your ship. So we've got tiers and we've got levels. Levels raise the power. Wow, look how expensive that is. You can see, you'll watch all of these go up. And then we've got tiers. So, oh shit. So as you beef these up, right now I think it's right here, right? Can I move you? Can I move you? No, we, we've got to get it, basically put it all the way up to tier four. Then you can swap them around and come over here and you can put different types of modules in. Let's see, the one that I like is not here. Squad boost is girl, uh, good. And let's see, you can add another turret. All kinds of stuff. And, ooh. So, in the last episode, I showed you guys in the character screen talents. Oh, we 
have more more to do. Oh, because we finished our mission. Okay, so I'll put that there. And we're going to add two rare items to everything now. And then pilot-wise, we go there because we want to get that cool down. And the question is, does that immediately show here or not? So there's one. No, okay. So, and before you do anything, which I should have done as soon as you put your foot in here, you need to go in and save. All right, hold on. I'm going to reload and see if we can get this to work right. All right, are we in luck? One. Nope. Oh, well. We'll still take that, though. All right, compared to... We've got two... Yeah, look. Oh, Jesus, yeah. We'll take that. Uh, we've got a couple more gats here. 394 ain't bad. Like that. Now, what are the lasers going to give us? <whistles> yep, they're jumping up, ain't they? Well, that'll be okay for one. We'll just buy one. Okay. We'll see about hitting another station before the end of the episode. Oh, here we go. So you can see two of them there. And so now, everywhere we go, that should pop up. Let's see. Oh, yeah. The thing, though, and you'll notice, is how expensive it is. 315 there. Whew. And then we got some power going on. 109, 115. Meh. Wait a minute. I saw one more. Actually, a couple more. So that's at nine, and we're at six, so we'll take that. And the weapon system, 7.2. Oh, yeah. All right, so we got about a half a million left. Let me swap everything out, and then we will be back and see what kind of money we make. And then we will go run a mission. Oh, man, we only got about uh, 8 140,000. Boy, we should... Man, you go through money so fast in this game, but that's fine. That's fine. All right. So now... Oh, that is so not... Oh, there we go. That's the, I think that's what we want. Oh, heart bow. Okay. One sec. And we'll go get us some combat. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. Alrighty, so we are in system. It says land on planet Mesophysis in Harpo, which is where we are, and go to the camp. Okay. That is where we're supposed to head. Because it's a ground-based mission. But then I think after this, it's going to release us to go um, start recruiting people. We'll have to see. How the missions hit. Okay. Oh, that's right. Now I remember this mission. Landing gear deployed. Okay. Fortunately, we don't have anybody on our side, so... Make sure you arm up and you're careful. Don't just sprint in. We got a bunch of guys we gotta fight. Okay. Oh. 
Where is... Really? Oh my god, that didn't work, did it? Those boys are stomping on me, jeez. So I can get some gear, but we're getting there. We're getting to the point where we can start to really gear ourselves up here. Putting some levels under our belt. All right, we still have one more. I swore there was one more. Pray and pray. Okay, we got everybody. What do you want from us? I'm here to take but her. Why? Because you kidnapped her. No. We love each other. I saved Nellis from Mark. He's obsessive psychopath. Yeah, so here's the thing. He's lying, and he's holding her family hostage, so... Please don't! Yeah. Nellis, thank God. Mark, why don't you leave us alone? She doesn't want to be with you. Mark, yeah, please. let's just fast he's forward through this. To see. Yeah. I told you. He's an obsessive lover. We... You're making a... That's it. Come on. No. Stop. No. What Do the fish. Got my family. Mm -hmm. If they find out something happened to him, they'll murder them. I told you. Thank you for believing in me. Did you hear what I just said? Yes. We were in a carrier ship in this system. They keep. Yeah. Okay, we'll go there. We'll get back. Save my... Okay, gosh. Sometimes I just don't want to hear the audio. But at least you can skip through. A lot of games can't even do that. Okay, so... Make sure we're tracking the right thing here. There we go. That's where we got to go. Landing gear retracted. You must be the murderer who killed she my brother. Trust me, I'll make you pay for this. Well, there it is. Nellis' family okay. must be in that ship. Don't damage it. If no, else, we gotta kill these assholes first. What also happened to Nellis' family? Target shields are down. Come on, man. I am leading that target, target about as well as I can. The hard part would be depending on what comes next. You idiots kill him. Target shields are down. But the few upgrades we put in, you can see a difference here. Compared to the last video where she Killing me. Target destroyed. All right. Why are you so far away? Shield recharging. Where do you come from? Hopefully the other guy will come back in once we kill this one. Okay. 
versus SOP guy. Oh, he did come back in. Good. Target shield shall recharge it. enough. You're here for that bitter's family, right? I will send them to you with pot. Just leave me alone. Here okay. are the pods. Let's get them to our ship. So, turn your, and make sure this is at 100% before you do anything else. Because this thing's gonna blow up in our face and sometimes it'll kill you sometimes and what if it does you just go in here, right? and um, In a new system Right in case it happens to do that because I've had it happen to me before even with my shields a hundred percent, so Let's see What it does this time. Warning, shields are recharging. We're still I mean? in one piece. Let's just get away from here. Are you still alive? You lucky bastard. Well, let's call it a draw. See you again. All right, we'll go hit lurk station. We need station. to repair the ship. Let's dock a station. Kind of weird that they do this mission this late. Because it's like, okay, yeah, I already know. Every time you land, everything's supposed to heal your ship kind of just the way it is. Although, man, even my... Oh, now it's starting to come back up. And then, yeah, we'll get fixed up and then we'll go see... Uh, we'll go fight her again. Hold on a second here. Gotta see what kind of upgrades we've got. Hey, the Fae Earthling. I love fighting with you. If you still want to nearest this family... I would be waiting for you. I add my location to your scanner. Don't make me wait too long. If I get bored, I leave. Landing gear deployed. Every station has a free repair service. You need to dock the station for the ship to be repaired. Let's see. No. No. Oh. What about rockets? Actually didn't use any okay so now every time you go to a station you want to go check your parts because it's a never-ending upgrade cycle to try and keep us as badass as possible and we're now at level nine that's it oh good what does mother earth cost so it's doubled. It has doubled in price. And I have put as little into the pilot skill as possible. This is something he needs to fix and, and balance correctly. Because later on, we're going to have to buy one of these. And we got to come up with millions and millions and millions of dollars. So I'm not really a fan of that. I'm a, oh, my Mothra. What's that at? Ooh. Yeah, level nine is the requirement. Nine, seven. Oh, well, at least not everything's 100%, you know, kill you, but the one I want is. All right, Mr. Turrets, take a quick look. We got a burst. Oh, nope, neither one will work.
Okay. Oh, got 900,000 and that's it. Get any goodies here. Scanner and power. That's not a big enough jump for something that costs almost four times the amount. Okay. Well, everything, our ship should be good to go. You always want to triple check before you leave, though. Sometimes it doesn't quite fix things correctly. That we're good. Let's go hunt this lady down and kill her. Landing gear retracted. Okay. Go to Kuran's location, huh? There it is. It's get her. Oh, and I got to do a slingshot point to get her. Oh my god. Calibration module activated. Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. We need a plan. Nellis said that her family was being held in the Carlo section. If we get in somehow, we can get them out. Even if we manage to get inside, I don't think they have space walking suits. How do we get it on our ship? Yeah, tie pods, tie ropes to the pods, and drag them to. Good oh. idea. I can sneak in. No, I do it. You wait for me on the ship. As you wish. Made the plan more complicated. Let's improvise a little. Target shields down. Target Using the following mode, follow mode also kind of. At least for me, it ruins the fun of the combat. I don't know you guys. That's about as much as I usually like to do. Target shields down. Yeah, we can almost kill him with that. Target destroyed. So two left, right? No, one left. Target shields are down. And I think we fight her once I kill this guy. I don't remember. Target destroyed. Okay, all clear. Let's infiltrate the cargo area of the ship. I want some Stay something back. out of this damn mission. So there's one, was there any others? Doesn't look like it, okay. So where is she? Oh, we gotta go on the other side. Now come back here. Now let's attach that rope to our ship. We did it! Damn you bastard. Now let's kill that creature. Ah! 
Oh, I can smell your skin from here. Burn, you creature. Burn. <sighs> oh, where are we? You're safe now. She sent us here to take you. Nilis. Oh, thank God. Is she safe? Is she got rid of that prune? Yes, she was, and he's gone. Thank you, sir. Thank you for saving us. If anyone asks what's happened here to me, tell them. The WRA is back. Tell them we're not alone anymore. World Resistance Army. I will do that. Believe me. Okay, so we need to go to a station to release some, so... Um, eh, let's go to the Explorers Guild. That's even closer. Calibration module activated. <coughs> Calibration completed. Waiting for the thruster input. I have to sing. You did a great job there. You earned my respect. Hmm. Not sure if I give two shits about his respect. There we go. <clears throat> I can't thank you enough, as promised. Me and five of my friends are joining WRA, and we do this not because we have to, but because we believe it. We are now your loyal soldiers. You can manage your organization from the faction interface. To do this, first, open the main interface. Now open the faction interface from the... This is the management hierarchy. There are commanders under you, and squads under commanders. In the panel you see below, there are the population details. Currently, there are six members in your organization. However, they were not appointed to any position. First, recruit five members into the army. All you have to do- Our military has two commands, space forces and land forces. Since our land forces command has not yet been established, we can make appointments to the space forces section. Now create your first squad. For this, we need a squad leader. First, now add the soldiers to this squad by drag and drop soldiers waiting to be assigned. Our first squad is ready as a full roster. Now click on the squad leaders. In this panel, you can get detailed information about the member. You can also give tasks from the give orders section. It is good for the squads to do freelance missions, both economically and in terms of gaining experience. In the future, when your army grows, you can assign different missions to different squads. Finally, a tip. You have to pay soldiers so they cost money, but regular members pay taxes so they make you money. Therefore, do not recruit soldiers unless you need them. Okay, so we'll give them freelance, give the order. All right, so now we got to get 20 earthlings, huh? All right, so this is what I was talking about. All right, so we got a level nine, tier two. That's three guys. That's easy. We'll do that. Those are soldiers, more pilots, uh, level 11, tier two. We'll do that. And all we got are those. All right. So, in the meantime, before we go and do a whole bunch of missions, next episode is going to be all combat missions as we put those teams together. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. It's easy to do. I'll show you the things you need to look for. But that's all in the next episode. Now, let's see what we got character one. What kind of talents we get? Oh, everybody leveled again. As I was saying. Right now. 
we put that there so now we make an extra 35 and then we will make an extra 70 so that's how we get up to 110 pilot right there so our weapons don't overheat most important now i like having two here in damage booster right then we're going to come down and we're probably going to throw this bad boy on here which is going to be uh it's going to start cutting their ability to target us with critical hits you can also and we will as we're going here let's see uh, increase the chance to find items yeah Oh, well, it's close. Let's see. Ooh. And then we, of course, got increased the warp speed. So... I don't think the warp speed's on this. Oh, no, it is. It is. So, yeah, we'll hit both of those of those warp speeds. So, again, we're, it's all about saving time, making money. Put those there. Soldier... I'm going to put everything, there we go, and then we're going to want to put some down here. Oh yeah, so much to do. So, what I am going to do in the meantime, and what I suggest you do, now is a great time to go do another farming run when it comes to uh, gold, like I showed you guys in the last episode, uh, or the episode before that. Anyways, I will do that next, and then when we come back, like I said, this is going to be all combat, kicking ass in the next episode, so keep your heads down, your warriors of doom. Up, oh, I'm my stud muffin, I'll see you again. Real damn soon.